Are you familiar with 8 U.S.C. Section 1182? Not off the top of my head, no. By the express text of the statute, it says, quote, whenever the president finds that the entry of any alien or of any class of aliens into the United States would be detrimental to the interests of the United States, he may by proclamation and for such period as he shall deem necessary suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants or impose on the entry of aliens any restrictions he may deem appropriate. Would you agree that that is broad statutory authorization? I would, and I am familiar with that, and I'm also familiar with an additional provision of the INA that says, no person shall receive preference or be discriminated against in issuance of a visa because of race, nationality, or place of birth. That, I believe, was promulgated after the statute that you just quoted. In the over 200 years of the Department of Justice history, are you aware of any instance in which the Department of Justice has formally approved the legality of a policy and three days later the Attorney General has directed the Department not to follow that policy and to defy that policy? I'm not, but I'm also not aware of a situation where the Office of Legal Counsel was advised not to tell the Attorney General about it until after it was over. Thank you, Ms. Yates.